Speaking of rights in China, the China Human Rights Exhibit in Beijing's Cultural Palace is under harsh criticism. Tight security has prevented many from seeing it, leaving rights activists to believe it's just for show. The local farmers said that the land in five towns near Cixi City was taken over by the authorities illegally. According to the government regulation, the local land is valued at 200,000 yuan per acre. But the local authorities only compensated around 10,000 to 20,000 yuan per acre, and 20% of the money was seized by the village committee. Our farmers like to keep the land because they live on the cultivated land for generations. We have recorded the scene of the authorities forcibly taking the land and brutally persecuting us as solid evidence. The local police, courts, bailiff, and gangsters, etc., are collaborating in the action. Last November, a villager about 70 years old was sentenced to half a year in prison by local authorities under the so-called "quote impending public service." The elderly is around 70 years old. He was released this June or July. He served a six-month prison sentence because he was charged with interfering with local authorities. The Chinese Communist regime lost people's support. It is very bad. After the land is taken, villagers did not get their fair compensation. Some farmers refused to sign the agreement and were physically assaulted. The farmers expressed that in the past three years, they have been constantly asking for help from all media bodies, but none have offered their support. All media in China is controlled by the government, including Hong Kong Phoenix TV. So today, I need your help to expose it worldwide. Let international communities know the evil Chinese Communist regime. NTD have found that when the future bridge between Shanghai and Ningbo is constructed, the land near Cixi City will become more expensive. Now, some of the land parcels in the area are valued over 1 million yuan.